What's going on guys, Wild Zed or Mystify here, back again with another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to how to have stretch resolution in Fortnite, just like me. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First off, you're going to have to change the resolution on your main monitor. Uh, and for that, right click the desktop, go on your like, whatever graphics card uh, thing you have, whatever, software. <laughs> So click on NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA graphics cards. This tutorial, by the way, is only for NVIDIA graphics cards because I don't have an AMD uh, graphics card. Anyway, let's make this bigger. Um, so to make this stretched, you go to change resolution, go to customize. Um, you're not going to have anything here. Like I deleted everything so I can show you guys like how it is. Uh, you go to create custom resolution. And right here, you can change it to whatever stretch resolution you want. For bare minimum, for bare minimum stretch resolution, you like if you don't want your games to look horrible, but you still want stretched, I recommend going by six, oh, 1650 by 1080. This is what Face Cloak used to play on. I don't know if he still does, but like, this is a good stretch resolution if you don't want your games to look ugly, but you still want to have that stretched effect. But if you want to go hardcore stretched, I used to play 14. Oops, 1440 by 1080. This is a good stretch resolution if you want to go like hardcore stretch. It doesn't look too bad, but it's a good stretch resolution. But for now, I'm going to go with 1280 by 1080 because I want to try the stretch resolution out. Anyway, so you don't want to mess with your vertical lines or your refresh rate. Um, the only thing we're changing is the horizontal pixels. So after, after you change that, Go to test, and I don't think I clicked it. Go to test, yeah. Then your screen is gonna go black. If you have multiple monitors, they all are gonna go black. And then it's gonna have your stretch resolution. Your, your things are gonna look ugly, but click, click yes, and then hold up. Your screen's gonna go black again. Uh, there we go. Oh shoot, that's messed up. All right, never mind, never mind. I think that's supposed to happen. Then you create the custom resolution right here. Click OK. Scroll up. Go to custom. Apply. Now your screen's gonna go black again. And there you go. Now you have your stretch resolution. Click yes. I'm gonna fix my OBS real quick. There we go. Um, yeah, this is huge. Oh my gosh. Alright, after you're done with that, you can exit out of that. Now. <laughs> now you have to change your Fortnite's resolution and that's not hard at all so what you have to do click your on your keyboard hold Windows key and then hit the button R and then this is this is gonna pop up right here and what you need to write you need to write app data not app dad app data go to local Fortnite game saved config and then Windows client Right here, there's gonna be a lot of files, but you just want to click. You just want to, you just want to find this one. Before you click on it, uh, right-click it, go to properties, um, uncheck read only, hit apply, hit OK, and then hit OK again. Sorry, I just got a text, and I was looking at my phone. Then you open this folder. It might seem like a lot of things, but just trust me. Just scroll down until you find resolution size x from this mine is already changed but for you if you're playing 1650 you click on uh, you you like write 1650 and then you you like write 1650 but for me come on for me i have 1280 by 1080 so you just change these two don't touch anything else just these two or i think yeah you change this one too and this one there. After you're done with that, go go to file, save, exit out, and then go back to this. Right-click it, go to properties again. Check read only. Hit OK. Oops. Read only. Apply and then OK. Doesn't really matter apparently. And then you want to launch your Fortnite. 